Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Bradley Walker here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to tell if news is going to be positive or negative for a currency pair. So we're going to dive right into this. I'm going to show you guys some examples. And at the end of this video, definitely stick around. I'm going to show you guys how I like to trade the high impact news events. So let's hop over here to our forexfactory.com website. This is one of the websites that we use for news events. There's a few others, but Forex Factory, when you're trading in the foreign exchange markets, is probably one of the best in my opinion. So as soon as you go to forexfactory.com, you know, we've talked about Forex Factory in a lot of our other videos with our news forecasts and things and understanding why trading with the fundamentals, with the news is super, super important. But this is the home screen of forexfactory.com. You can see you have all of the news events. And we're looking at October 1st. You can see right here the date that we are looking at October 1st, which is Friday of last week, because there's a lot better examples for what I'm going to be talking about in today's video than there was for today, which is actually the 4th of October. So this is all going to be an Eastern Standard Time. This is the time the news events are dropping, the currency that they are affecting, and then you can see right here the impact. Now, if you're not in Eastern Standard Time, because these news events are released in Eastern Standard Time, if you click on the time right here, it will allow you to change the time zone. But these are the main things that you want to focus on. The time that the news is dropping, the currency that it's going to be affecting, and then the impact that it's going to be having on that currency pair. So yellow news events, like we've talked about in previous videos, if you highlight over that, it's going to say low impact expected. So we don't really pay attention to the low impact news too much. Now, if there's like, say, five to 10 news events coming out for one currency pair that are low impact, maybe at that point, you might want to pay attention to it. But for the most part, we don't really pay attention to the low impact. We also have the orange folders here, which again, we've talked about in previous videos is medium impact news. Definitely want to pay attention to that. And then the ones you definitely want to make sure that you're paying attention to are the high impact, the red news events that are going to be dropping for a currency pair. You can see here on top of, you know, definitely pay attention to the time, the currency, the impact that it's going to have, but you can also see the forecast. Now, if the news hasn't dropped yet, you obviously wouldn't see the actual, which is the actual numbers that came out in uh, correlation with the forecast. So you won't actually see that. But for this example, like I said, I'll definitely want to show you guys an actual example that's already happened. So looking at this right here, let's go down here. We're going to use this 10 o'clock news event on Friday for the US dollar. It was high impact. It was the ISM manufacturing manufacturing PMI. The forecast was going to be at 59.6. We ended up coming out at 61.1, meaning that the news was better than the forecast. Therefore, it was actually beneficial for the currency pair. Now, how do you tell that before it actually drops? You're going to want to click on this folder here. It says open detail. Clicking on that, it's going to give you a breakdown of what that news event is. It's going to tell you what it measures, the usual effect. Like I said, if the actual is greater than forecast, it's going to be good for the currency, which you can see this actually was. You're going to have the frequency see right here how often that news event is actually dropping the next release date for it the forex factory notes why traders care and so on you can also see down here in the bottom right we have related stories that way you can read other news and other people's opinions on what that news is actually going to bring now over here to the right hand side one thing we definitely want to pay attention to is the history because obviously when you're trading in foreign exchange or any other market what you are doing is looking at past data to then predict and anticipate what is going to happen in the future so let's click on this right here more it's going to bring up the history uh since 2020 uh july 1st 2020 and it's going to give us the history for that entire time frame so aside from just looking at you know if the actual is greater than forecast it's going to be good for the currency you know people are saying it's going to be better than expected looking at the forecast you want to pay attention to the history so you can see right here we have more green than we do red um, as far as the actual versus the forecast. So more times than not, this news, when it has dropped, was more beneficial. The actual was greater than the forecast. So therefore, we can actually say the odds are in our favor to expect the actual is going to be better for the forecast. Now, like I said, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys how I trade news events because, again, looking at this is great. This is all great to kind of anticipate what you think is going to be happening, but you could still be wrong. There's obviously times where it was worse than the forecast, which means that it actually hurt and hindered the currency pairs. So I'm going to show you in the end of this video how I trade these news events. But again, you know, things you want to pay attention to, the time it drops, the currency pair it's going to be affecting, the impact that it's going to be having, which is high impact for this example here. And then looking at the forecast as well as the usual effect and the frequency. 
also want to pay attention to the history, like I said. How many times has that news actually been better than the forecast or worse than the forecast? Because it definitely differs depending on the news event and the currency pair that you are looking at. We're going to hop over here to MetaTrader and kind of show you guys how I like to trade news to make sure that I'm actually having um, higher chances of getting in on the right direction. Because like I said, it could be positive. You know, looking at this more times than not, it was positive. So we can definitely anticipate that. But I'm going to show you how to, you know, kind of hedge yourself if it does actually go uh, negative and actu the actual news is worse than the forecast. So first, before we hop on MetaTrader, let's take a look at this here. So there's five different orders when you're trading in the foreign exchange market. There's a market execution, which is going to be entering in at the current price, whether you're buying or selling, you're executing at that current market price. There's a buy stop, a sell stop, a buy limit, and a sell limit. Now for this video, I'm going to be talking about buy stops and sell stops. We've talked about buy limits and sell limits in our Forex course, as well as other stuff as well in other videos that we've dropped. But we're going to be focusing on buy stops and sell stops because that's kind of how I like to personally trade news. So a buy stop is an order placed above the current price and price keeps going up. I'll show you an example once we switch over. And then a sell stop is an order placed below price and price keeps going down. So let's hop on to MetaTrader and give you guys some examples of how I like to trade the news. So you can see right here, we are on the USD CAD on the 30 minute time frame, And we have this little bit of a range that has formed. So we have this support or resistance. Again, they're interchangeable. I call them SIR zones, but we have this SIR zone right here to the upside where you can see price tapped multiple times in both directions. And then same thing here to the downside. We have this uh, support zone or SIR zone being formed down here on the downside where price has tapped multiple times. Now, you could definitely just buy in. Let's just say USD, that news was coming out at 10 a.m. It's 9.55. You're anticipating it's going to be bullish. Positive news for the US dollar. The actual is going to be better than the forecast. You could just hop into a buy. Now, what I personally like to do is use sell stops and buy stops. So what I would do is, let's just say right around here, I would enter into a buy. I would place a buy stop order. And then right, let's just say down here, I would place my sell stop order. So we are within this range. Typically when high impact news comes out, you know, the market direction definitely can change very fastly. There's a lot of volume and volatility that comes with these high impact news events, which is why you definitely want to pay attention to the fundamentals when they are dropping. But like I said, let's just say you expect it to be positive. You could just buy right here. But if the news is actually worse than the forecast, it's going to come down. So you're going to end up hitting your stop loss and, you know, possibly taking a loss on the trade. So what I like to do is use these stop orders. So we're in this range right here. What I'm looking for, let's just say no news was dropping. I'd be looking for a breakout in either direction, along with, you know, other things, EMA stacks, um, looking at the RSI, looking at the uh, Fibonacci retracement levels, looking at a bunch of different things. But for this example, let's just say we'd be looking for a breakout if there was no, no news dropping uh, for this currency pair. But when the news is dropping, you're also looking for that breakout. But again, it could be better than the forecast or worse than the forecast. So by placing your stop order here on the buy side, this pair would then have to break up out of this zone, confirm that there is an actual breakout. And once it hits this price level here, your buy would be initiated and you would end up being uh, most likely on the right side of that um, news event that is dropping. Same thing here to the downside. We're looking for a breakout if we were going to be hopping into a sell. So if you place a sell stop here, you won't hop into your sell until that breakout happens. And it confirms that the news is going to be actually worse than the forecast. So I personally like to use stop orders when trading news. That way I can kind of hedge my bets. Now, at times I do, you know, market executions. I just hop right into it. But for the most part, I'm using these stop orders to kind of help me um, hedge my bet when I'm actually trading the fundamentals and the news. So hopefully you guys found some value in this. You definitely want to pay attention to the fundamentals. You know, a lot of people obviously know about technical analysis, reading the charts, looking at price action, looking at serve zones, using different indicators to kind of predict and anticipate where they think the market's going to go. But if a high impact news event is coming out and that's all you are focused on, that news event can easily smack you very, very quick, especially when high impact stuff like non-farm payroll, GDP, stuff like that is dropping. You could be looking at price action and fundamentals or and technical analysis and say, okay, everything is looking like it's going to go bullish. Everything's going to look like it's going bearish. But if the news drops, let's just say on this example right now, personally, I think this is actually going to be coming down this, this currency pair here. I'd be waiting for a breakout to possibly hop in, but overall, just taking a quick look at this, it looks like it's going to continue to the downside, maybe not immediately, but over the next few days, I'm definitely looking like it's going to be going to the downside, but you have to then add in fundamental analysis. Okay. Because just because this looks like it's coming down, if that news drops and it's positive for the U S dollar, 
this could easily flip, break out of this zone, and then go to the upside. So you have to pay attention to the news. It increases volume and volatility in the markets. And if you're not paying attention to it, you're going to be trading very, very blindly. And you definitely don't want to get blindsided by a high impact news event. I've definitely been there in the past. Trading was killing it. This was, you know, I've been trading for about eight years now. This was in the past. You know, I was killing it, doing super good. All of a sudden, NFP dropped and I got wrecked. And I'm like, yo, what just happened? So I start doing some research and I realized this thing called non-farm payroll drops on the first Friday of every single month. And it's super high impact, a lot of volume, a lot of volatility comes from this news event. All my technicals, all my price action, everything was stacked in the right direction. It was looking good, but the news ended up coming out worse than expected and ended up smacking the US dollar and I got smacked on a trade. So you definitely wanna make sure you're pairing all of this together. That way you're not trading the markets blind. That way you have as much tools and resources and as much information at your disposal as possible to help you have a higher chance of getting into a successful trade. But hopefully you guys found some value from this video. Definitely make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our videos. Share this video out with anybody that you think can found, find value in it that is trading in the Forex markets or any other market. Like I said, I focused on Forex in today's video, forexfactory.com, but this applies to all, you know, all markets, whether it's stocks, options, whatever it may be, you want to pay attention to the news that is going to be dropping when you were trading in any financial market. Make sure you also check out the links in the description of this video. Sign up to our free Forex course. Normally we sell this for $197. We're giving it to you today for free. So sign up to that. Learn how to start trading in the foreign exchange markets. Learn the basics, you know, basic terminology, how to set up a brokerage. Learn how to start trading in the Forex markets. Sign up to our Discord community. We're giving you a seven-day free trial to start trading with us, copying our trades, getting access to our news bot, live Q&As, one-on-one sessions, and so much more. Sign up to our recommended brokerages. Sign up to Robin Hood and Webull to get a free stock on us. Follow us on all major social media platforms at Copy My Profits. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.